So let's talk about tobacco use in the Army. When you first come into the Army, you go to basic training or OSIT, you're not gonna be able to use any tobacco products. There's no designated smoking areas, nothing. You're not gonna be able to smoke, dip, vape, nothing while you're in basic training or OSIT. So kind of be ready for that. Be aware that you're gonna have to go cold turkey for that first amount of time for those 10 weeks of basic or those 14 or 22 weeks of OSIT, whatever the case might be. Now, if you did basic training and then move on to AIT, it may kind of fluctuate on that kind of you know rule as far as if you're going to be able to use tobacco products or not. And so some cases, if you know your AIT is maybe pretty short, you may not be able to use tobacco products at all. Some longer ones may, at a certain phase later on, allow you to start using tobacco products. So just kind of be aware. Just be expect that you may not be able to use it at all. It's going to fluctuate though. Once you are done with that initial training, you're at your first duty station. You're going to be able to use tobacco products again, but there are still regulations that regulate how you use them. So, for example, in AR 670-1, you are not allowed to walk and use tobacco products. So you're not going to be allowed to walk around smoking. You're going to have designated smoking areas you have to go to usually those are away from government facilities away from military you know buildings and stuff so you have to go to those areas and be stationary smoking vaping and dipping technically but dipping sometimes they're a little bit more lenient with that as you'll see you know higher ranking individuals sometimes walk around with their spit bottle you know and a chew in their mouth and they'll be a little bit more flexible on that technically you're not allowed to but they're a little bit more flexible on that in the army if you're doing some kind of training indoors you're not gonna be able to probably dip indoors either sometimes if it's military run they may be a little bit lenient on that, but if it's civilian run, they're probably not going to be any lenient to the, on that as well. You're going to probably go outside and dip if you want to do that. And then if you're in like a combat zone or a field environment, sometimes they're pretty strict on that because they don't want the, you know, the amber from that uh, cigarette to give away your position. So just kind of be aware if you are a smoker or tobacco user in the military, there are going to be some regulations involved.